Hey guys, this is Mike from Boyer Bows, and I got a quick tip for you when it comes to putting snake skins on anything. Um, you may have seen this quiver that I made recently. This is a very, very large uh, Western Diamondback rattlesnake skin that uh, Deep Fried King was nice enough to send to me. The Hog Zone. Check out Deep Fried King channel and Hog Zone channel whenever you can. You can see him skinning this thing. It's the most incredible thing I've ever seen. Anyway, in the process of doing this, I wanted to show you uh, a couple of things, a couple of little tricks. That it applies to bows as well as quivers. It's about the glue up. I have another large skin here uh, that the pet store um, acquired for me. It actually wasn't the skin, it was the uh, one of their larger snakes passed away. And uh, they were nice enough to stick it in the freezer and call me. And um, it's boa constrictor, and what I've done is I'm going to make another quiver like that. But here's the start shape, starting shape of it. And every now and again, there's two things that always, you know, burn my, burn my hide or chap my hide whenever I, uh, I'm trying to glue something down. When you, when you glue a snake skin down, whether it's on a bow or on a quiver, you try to get it as smooth as you can. It's really as flat. You want as much adhesion as possible, but invariably you get some some of these air bubbles. I don't know if you can kind of see the raised level right there. See how I kind of push it? I kind of come in at a couple of angles here and see if there's this area right here like this bubble. Now the skin will is relatively speaking it, it's it's airtight so now that I've got this this bubble right here that's you can see it now there's the bubble so what do you do well you wanna find it you want the glue to cure up a little bit so it's the parts that are sticking are gonna stick and you can really pull that bubble out just take your thumbtack or whatever give it a couple a couple little little shots like that and then just push it flat, gone. See, there's still glue under there, and the glue is still, you know, tacky. And just pop that air bubble, press it down, gone. Easy peasy, right? Did I just say easy peasy? I've been watching way too much Disney Channel with my girls. Okay, the other thing is now, I want you guys to see the difference here. The scale size of the Western Diamondback versus the Boa Constrictor. I mean, these are tiny little suckers. These scales are actually pretty easy to remove, even though there's still a ton of them. These, not so much. Now, the problem with scale removal is that um, I get the best luck taking a fine steel wool cloth and running in the same direction as the scales. Another thing you can do is take a piece of leather and just rub them off and it gets most of them off but you always get these stubborn little suckers so how can you tell if you got them all off or not well what you, one of the things you can do is look for these areas of of uh, shiny like there's a piece of plastic or saran wrap over the scale and then take the same thumbtack I hope you guys can see this and then just kinda come in here and work it in the direction, there it is, there's a little bit of this scale, see if I can find a one that's large enough that you can see on video here, let's see, let's see if this one's, there it is, there you go, so that's the scale from, from right there, they just don't want to come off with uh, the leather, they're going to be stubborn, just gonna move this over here. Let's see if there's another one. See, I see. Let me see if you can. It's hard to see. I can't tell if you can see this on the camera. Here's a good one. See, there's two scales there that are a little shinier than everything else. Just come in there. There's. There goes. It's like that little piece of scale just comes right off with the pin. They just they're stuck on there otherwise, and they just won't come off. And that's the way you get the real stubborn jobs off. At least that's how I do it. And sometimes you get pieces of scale that came off with your original work and left some residuals behind. 
anyway you can see I've got a lot of these little tiny ones to pick off <laughs> I'm gonna be here a while I'm gonna make myself comfortable and make a an evening of it and then uh, once I do this I just gotta finish up the quiver so that's it that's uh, my two tips on how to get air bubbles out of a skin now this can happen on a bow as easily as on a quiver um, and the fix is the same just take a little tiny point sewing needles work thumbtacks work it a little and just just smooth them out and they're gone it's that simple and if you don't get them out it can you know, I've seen people take uh, um, like a clothes iron to try to melt the glue back down and all that and it's it's just overkill and you risk scorching your skin so that's just my easy way of doing it hope that helped you hope uh, that extra scale removal helps all your snaky problems and uh, I'm Mike from Boyer Bows and I'll be talking again to you real soon take care guys